Hey everybody, Crown and Cast back with you. This is part two of Alec Murdoch is innocent, according to the new owner of Moselle, with what he calls evidence that he found at Moselle. Um, he also spoke to neighbors, and according to him, the neighbors has also said Alex didn't do this. So there's a lot of people saying that Alex didn't do it, including me from about two years ago, and I wrote a book about it called Defending Alec Murdoch, Not Guilty by Reason of Doubt. It, it did so well that one of the jurors from the Alex Murdoch trial reached out to me. And it was Juror 785, now known as Myra Crosby. And she asked me to help her write a book. Now, she is the author of the book. I ghost wrote the book for her. But she is the author of that book. And um, that's also bailed on Amazon. So let's get into it. So I said earlier in part one, I talked about Murdoch and in connection to the boat crash. And, and Alex said this was about the boat crash. Something happened that this is revenge for the boat crash. All right? And then I said, well, there's also, according to my article on crimeandcast.com, I take the boat wreck and the Stephen Smith connection and I tie them together. Here's how we do it. You ready? Hold on. All right. So everybody from Fitz News to CBS to the Daily Mail all wrote that persons named Sean Conley and Patrick Wilson were persons of interest in the death of Stephen Smith. Got it? Okay. You still don't make any connection? All right. Well, Paul Murdoch, some of you, most of you probably don't know, myself and and a few people from Hampton, know that Paul Murdoch was really good friends with Patrick Wilson and Sean Connolly. And probably none of you know this, is that Patrick Wilson and Connor Cook's girlfriend at the time, who he now is living with and has a child with, Miley Altman, mm -hmm. they've been dating since they were teenagers, Miley Altman is Patrick Wilson's cousin. Hmm. Interesting. Um, so, as I said, she's living with Connor Cook. Connor Cook was one of the persons, besides Paul Murdoch, that was accused at the time of driving said boat that crashed and those, of course, went back and forth to who said what, and they changed their time, their, their stories at the hospital, depending on what Alec Murdoch or, or, or uh, his grandfather uh, said to the kids. But here's how it changes after the boat crash. Okay? Life changes dramatically for everybody involved. The, the Paul Murdoch they once knew was no more. His friends were no longer associated with him. He no longer offered them what they liked, which was the property, the guns, the party, and the hunting, the fishing, the alcohol, the drinking, possibly even drugs. Um, so, you know, that all ended. And then you have Connor Cook and his deposition, where he expressed a growing frustration uh, with Paul, who seemed to avoid consequences time and time again. Um, he says Paul's history of reckless behavior, especially with alcohol, um, was well involved and well known within a circle of friends. And the circle of friends was Paul, his girlfriend Megan, Connor Cook, Mallory Beach, Anthony Cook, and Miley Altman, Patrick Wilson, Sean Connolly. That was, that was the group. Thickest teams. Mainly the guys. But for the most part, that's what happened. And they all, by the way, there's another interview that we've got coming that I think all of you are going to find very interesting. That's going to agree with everything that Connor has said here. The frustration was clear. And they were tired of Paul and they cut Paul off. And now Paul offered them nothing. So they didn't care anymore. But just to kind of wrap this thing up, we look at the, the connection of the unsolved tragedy of, of Stephen Smith, right? That was the 2015, the 2015 death of a 19-year-old boy. Um, it was widely speculated, you know, that the players in the Murdoch family, possibly even Buster, had something to do with it. That, that is completely bogus. Um, but the authorities, SLED, has struggled to solve this case. 
and it's really haunted, this town. Um, but my question is, what if, and it's a big what if, you ready for this? What if Paul Murdoch knew something that he was rumored to reveal, true or not, that led to his murder, unaliving, um, silencing him once and for all, and ensuring he could never tell the secret, and here's the important part, escaped unscathed once again, because the friend group was tired of seeing him, tired of seeing Paul Murnick get away with everything, and they were not going to let Paul Murdoch put anything on Connor Cook. Not going to happen, by the way. Connor and mine, they got paid out, allegedly, well over a million dollars. Close to a tune of a million and a half dollars out of the uh, settlement from the boat crash and the Murdoch settlement, which happened last week. Again, go to crimeatcash.com. Link is in my bio. Uh, you can read the whole story in there. You can hear Alex Blair's, you can read about Alex Blair's statement about Moselle and the um, evidence he believes he sees at Moselle that Alec Murdoch is innocent. I've been saying it for two years. I wrote a book about it. Check it out. Crime and cash. Got out.